Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is the ROG Maximus X2 Hero motherboard. Uh, quite decent motherboard. And I did receive a lot of questions about the TPM settings. Okay, a lot of people try to install Windows 11 into this board and they were unable to find what is the TPM settings into the BIOS because they had to install Windows 11 but without enabling the TPM they were uh, unable to install the Windows 11 on it. So that's quite simple. I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, you need to get into BIOS by pressing F2. And if your computer just recently built and never been used, then you don't have to press F2. It's going to give you an option. Uh, let's see what happens once we turn on uh, at the first of the screen. Okay. So as you can see, my machine is on, by the way and if your one is off then you can turn on and as soon as you turn on you're going to find this message first of all okay because it's never been used freshly built and now there are three options you can press either f1 to get into default cpu settings or if you want to get uh boost up i mean kind of overclocking then you can press f3 to unlock limits to increase the performance so I'm going to press F1 to get into BIOS. And now I'm going to press F7 to get into advanced mode. So let's press F7. So in here, first of all, I'm going to get into USB configuration. And click here. Once we click here, we can see the legacy USB support is enabled. Okay, so if you'd like EUEFI boot, you have to make it disable, otherwise it would not work properly. But if you'd like legacy, then you have to make it enable. Because of I'm going to install Windows 11, so I'm going to disable it and then go back to the other option. Okay, so once the USB configuration is done, the next one would be TPM. All right, but by the way, in this motherboard, I had a lot of complaints uh, from my viewers there. That said, they are unable to find the TPM settings in advanced mode. I'm going to show you right now how to change the TPM. By the way, it doesn't say TPM directly. So in the advanced section, if you go to PCHFW configuration. So click here, PCHFW configuration. And as you can see, it says PTT. All right. So this ROG motherboard, it doesn't say TPM directly by default this is disabled so make sure you make it enable and once you try to make it enable it's going to give you a kind of warning okay read it if you would like but there is no other way we have to press ok to make it enable so I'm going to press ok once I press ok PTT which is TPM 2.0 version would be enable and that would be ready for installation the Windows 11 and now we done two settings, USB configuration and then TPM. And now the third one is most important, which is secure boot. Once you get into the boot menu, click on boot, then you can find directly there is a option called secure boot. And also on the top is called CSM. So once you get into secure boot, make sure you choose Windows EVFI mode. Once you choose that, it's all done. And now we're going to press on exit. And there are a few options. The second one says save changes and reset. Okay, so that is the option we need to choose. Once we click on here, it's going to tell us like what we did. Highlighted option. As you can see, we turn on PTT from disabled to enable, legacy from enable to disable, and OS, I mean secure boot, we choose Windows EVFI mode. So that is the good option for Asus ROG motherboard. I do really love it because I can see at a glance what I done, what's the changes I made. So press OK. Once you press OK, the system would restart. And once it's restarting, then you can press F8 to get into temporary boot option, either to choose the Windows installation or whatever you would like. So pretty much that's all. By the way, once again, these settings doesn't have TPM directly, it's called PTT. So choose it in the advanced option. Still, if you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section. And if you do like this video, if you think that is helpful, please consider subscribing to this channel. And thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye for now.